Hey guys, this is Sean from Seanhugger.com and in this video we are going to perform a detailed benchmarking test comparison between HTC Desire 10 Pro and Huawei Mate 9 smartphone. Huawei Mate 9 comes with 4GB of RAM, Android 7 OS, Kirin 960 octa-core processor and uh, Mali G71 GPU and our Desire 10 Pro it also comes with 4GB of RAM, MediaTek Helio P10 processor, Android 6 OS and uh, the GPU used in this device is Mali T860 MP2 GPU. So let's start our test and let's see that how much all these hardware specs are going to contribute in this test and which device is going to perform better. So let's start it. The benchmarking applications that we got today here, they are Antutu Benchmarking, Geekbench 4, Basemark OS 2, Basemark X and Quadrant Standard. We have already performed most of these tests earlier to save you time and we will be seeing the score directly and we will compare the result and the remaining ones we will do right here in front of you. So let's start with the Antutu Benchmarking. It's one of the most popular benchmarking application and test. So let's have a look on these scores here. So here is the entry benchmarking test score for Huawei Mate 9 and HTC Desire 10 Pro. So for Huawei Mate 9 it's 128,244 and for HTC Desire 10 Pro it's 77,138 so you can see that the performance of our Huawei Mate 9 is much better than the HTC Desire 10 Pro and uh, you can say it's because of the better hardware specs because the GPU used in Huawei Mate 9 is better than the uh, Desire 10 Pro and also the CPU we can also consider the performance of OS because uh, Huawei Mate 9 it comes with Android 7 OS and here is uh, Android 6 Marshmallow OS on our HTC Desire 10 Pro so it is also contributing in this test because the amount of RAM basically is 4 GB in both of these two devices so in this test as we can see the winner is Huawei Mate 9 so let's have a look on rest of the benchmarking test and applications So the second test is Basemark OS 2. This test is performed earlier as well. So we will have a look on the results directly. So for Huawei Mate 9, it's 2,936. And for our HTC Desire 10 Pro, it's just 931. So you can see that Huawei Mate 9, it is scoring nearly three times more than HTC Desire 10 Pro and if you have a look on the individual scores here so you can see that for system there is a difference not huge but for memory and for graphics the difference in a score is huge especially in the graphics it's like uh, more than six times and as I said that the performance of CPU and GPU is much better in Huawei Mate 9 with respect to HTC Desire 10 Pro and it's clearly visible that it's contributing in this benchmarking test so in this test once again the winner is Huawei Mate 9 and now let's have a look on the next test and that's uh, Basemark X this is a gaming benchmarking test so in this test basically the performance of GPU is very important let's have a look on the result the scores and here we go so you can see that Huawei Mate 9 scored 44,182 and HTC Desire 10 Pro scored just 14,371. So once again, Huawei Mate 9 is scoring nearly three times of what HTC Desire 10 Pro scored. So as I said, the performance of GPU is much much better in Huawei Mate 9 and that is clearly visible in this test here as well because this test basically is about 3d graphics rendering 2d graphics rendering 
and uh, basically about the GPU capability. So in this test as well, the winner is Huawei Mate 9 and uh, the next test is uh, Geekbench 4. We have performed this test as well. It is having two part as you can see CPU and compute and we will have a look on the scores of these two tests one by one. So for CPU you can have a look on the scores for single core for Huawei Mate 9 it's 1946 and for multi core it is 6314. If you go to the HTC Desire 10 Pro you can see that for single core it is 720 and for multi core it is 2913. So for single core Huawei Mate 9 is scoring nearly three times once again than the Desire 10 Pro and for multi core it's nearly twice. So in this test as well the winner is Huawei Mate 9. Now let's go to the compute tab and here we can have a look on the score. So Huawei Mate 9 and it is scored 3413 and HTC Desire 10 Pro it is scored 2220. So this time the difference is not huge. Like if you have a look on the previous test and the scores the difference was always so much like three times, two times, more than two times. But here it's a bit less but again the winner is Huawei Mate 9 in this test as well. So you can see that the better hardware specs, the better CPU, the better GPU and uh, the latest Android version on Huawei Mate 9 is contributing in all of these benchmarking tests and because of that the Huawei Mate 9 is performing much better than HTC Desire 10 Pro here. And the last test for today is Quadrant Standard and we will do this test right here in front of you and once the test is finished we will have a look on the score and we will compare it once again just like we did uh, in the last few minutes. So here we go with the Quadrant Standard. Let's just start the test now. So you can see this is a detailed test for CPU, memory, uh, 2D graphics, 3D graphics and everything. So the test is finished now on both devices and here we are having the scores. So for Huawei Mate 9 the score is 34,118 and for HTC Desire 10 Pro it is 22,419. So once again in this test as well the winner is Huawei Mate 9. Uh, the difference is not huge once again just like the compute test of uh, Geekbench 4 but again the winner is Huawei Mate 9. So we can see that the better hardware specs is helping a lot uh, Huawei Mate 9 in winning in all of these benchmarking tests. And now let's do one more test. Let's do a browsing speed test. So we are going to use Google Chrome browser. In both of these two devices and we will see that how Google Chrome browser is going to perform in both these two devices when we are performing a, a web browsing test so here we go So the test we are going to use for web browsing benchmarking is Sun Spider and here we go with the test in both of these devices. 
and we will see that which one is going to perform better. So you can see that Huawei Mate 9 is faster in finishing the test than the HTC Desire 10 Pro. So the test is already finished on it so I'm expecting once again the winner is Huawei Mate 9. And the test is finished on Desire 10 Pro as well. So our concern is this here. So on HTC Desire 10 Pro, it's 1181.0 millisecond. And on our Huawei Mate 9, it is 452.7 millisecond. And let me tell you that in this test, the lower the score, it's better because it's time it's in milliseconds so the amount of time it consumed in performing this test and finishing all of this thing uh, this is what matters so the lower the score the better it is so once again you can see that our Huawei Mate 9 it uh, consumed nearly three times less time than the HTC Desire 10 Pro and once again in this test as well the winner is Huawei Mate 9. So we performed six tests today and in all of these tests the winner was Huawei Mate 9. So obviously it is a better device in terms of hardware specs and performance as well. So thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and hands-on reviews like this. And you can also get in touch with me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram by visiting the links given in the description of this video. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.